and everything episode of the This That Beauty Show. Today, we're going behind the scenes on New York Fashion Week and sharing lots of insights and trends. I've got two spectacular guests. We're gonna go through a lot of what you need to know to navigate the fashion and beauty scene for fall 2012. So stay tuned for more. So please help me welcome our first guest for today's very fashion-focused uh, episode of the This That Beauty Show. We're really delighted to welcome Trey Bodge. Now Trey is a senior writer at RetailMeNot.com and she's also co-founder of Three Custom Color Specialists. And Trey's gonna share with us some of the top trends that we're seeing so far at New York Fashion Week. So please help me welcome Trey. Welcome, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. So, Every season, or for the last few seasons on my mm -hmm. show, you've been doing this trend report, which I love because you go to all the shows, you take a look at like what's hot, what's new, mm -hmm. what's you know emerging, and you do a trend report for this that beauty. So today you're go we're going to do it on the show, your yeah. trend report, and talk about the show. So let's it, we're still in the middle of fashion week; it hasn't completely ended. So let's chat the trends that you're seeing so far. So let's do maybe three. What are your three top trends so far for fashion? Fashion week. You know, so far, the the first and most prevalent trend I've mm -hmm. seen is the androgynous trend. Okay. Um, which you know is not my favorite, to be okay. honest. I like a little more glamour during Fashion Week, uh -huh. but um, this I saw on several designers. Mm -hmm. um, all over the place from Cynthia Rowley to Alexander Wang. Okay. And what we were seeing was a very sort of plain, slightly boyish mm -hmm. look. Um, you know, not so glamorous, but okay. actually very pretty. Now, how does this look translate from the runway to real life? Is it mm -hmm. about skin? Is it about brows? What? How do you translate this look for the everyday lady? That's a good question. I mean, this is a very wearable look that a lot of people can wear. Okay. It's very peachy all over, so you okay. can even take, you know, that that neutral peachy blush that you have, do it eyes and cheeks, mm -hmm. add it to a little lip balm and do it on the lips too. Okay. So it's a very overall harmonious look. Okay, okay. Um, the second quality about this look that I thought was notable were the brows. It's a very okay. strong brow, a very kind of a masculine brow. Okay. So definitely, if you're going to wear this look, you want to go a little bit more masculine, a okay. little bit darker on the okay. brow than you normally and this would. And more of a fuller brow versus like a sketched, very thin brow. Exactly, a okay. fuller and more pronounced brow. And then sort of the third aspect of this look that okay. I thought was really notable was a very flawless, sort of dewy skin. Uh, very fresh, very young looking. Okay. So if you're Well, the models are all 12, come exactly. on. Exactly, <laughs> they all look that way. Um, but you know, I think if you're doing this at home, a little extra moisturizer, okay. give you that kind of dewy, slightly perspiring look, fresh okay. off the gym, that kind of look. That's a great way to, to pull off this androgynous okay. look. Okay, so yeah. tell us about your, your second top trend so far? <laughs> um, second top trend, which I really, really liked, and I, I'm calling it wings. Okay. Um, yeah, you have wings this, today. I, I do. I have wings We both today. have wings. Yeah. We're so on trend and ahead I of the know, curve. I know, I know. I was so excited to see it. It was very, very dramatic. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of designers were using it. Um, Catherine Malandrino was one of my favorites, actually. Mm -hmm. She did kind of a an Amy Winehouse wing, uh, which was very dramatic uh -huh. and like totally over the top. Uh -huh. A similar wing I saw at Jason Wu, okay. which was not your classic black wing like we have, uh, yeah. but the, the teal, the teal kind of and emerald. It was like all the way to yeah, here. That yeah. was pretty cool. Yeah, so I thought that both of those were really cool. I mean, I think obviously the um, the second one would be a little tough to wear yeah. at home, mm -hmm. um, but we can all experiment with mm -hmm. wings. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite way to apply a wing and to practice at home, because I think that um, liquid eyeliners are a little bit tough, especially mm -hmm. ones that have that floppy brush. Yeah, really the hard to brush get that. isn't like really stiff and steady. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. exactly. So what's your tip? Felt tips. Ah. I love a felt tip. Okay. Um, NYX has a really cute one. Okay. Rimmel has a cute one, and uh -huh. these these are mass brands. They're uh -huh. you know six ninety nine something mm. like that, and you know it's a more solid mm -hmm. point. So you can actually really experiment and you know just like follow that lash line and take it as far yeah. as you're comfortable. And I love the magic marker quality because you can yeah. just kind of tap 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 at the lash line and it deposits the color very mm -hmm. evenly and beautiful. Yeah, exactly. It's I mean it's, I think that it's a very 
very goof proof way and obviously mm -hmm. if you need to do any cleanup just put a little makeup remover on a mm -hmm. q-tip um, to sort of finish this look uh -huh. is again a very peachy face okay so very similar you know a blushy kind of peachy okay. color eyes cheeks lips okay but then just going crazy with okay. that with that then black it's just eye. all about the wing yes which we're absolutely. both doing today yes. so on trend okay <laughs> so your third big trend that you've spotted for fashion week thus far yes. let's hear um, it this one i really liked and i thought it was sort of odd for mm -hmm. fall um is a hibiscus colored lip which is a uh -huh. very bright very clear like mm -hmm. a cross between a bright coral and a red okay um very simple face okay. otherwise. Um, we saw this at Charlotte Ronson. Mm -hmm. um, peachy again. Okay. Well, so peach is definitely going to be on the Yeah, that fall, seems sure. to be yeah, a recurring theme. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, peach on the eyes and cheeks, mm -hmm. but your lip is really your focal point. You okay. need something very bright, very clear. Okay. Um, and maybe a, a soft black along the lashes mm -hmm. as well, just to kind of finish out that okay. look. But Maybe that, more of a smudge black versus a crisp line. Yes, okay. a smudge black or a very thin crisp line if you're gonna do the crisp line. Okay. I saw a little bit of both there. So okay. and I, I liked them both. But that lip really, really stuck out to me this, okay. this season. Okay, so. great. Now here's what I also want to know because again we're not done with fashion. We go right. kind of right smack dab in the middle. So what haven't you seen so far that you love to see? Like there are always certain things that I want to see make mm -hmm. a comeback. Is there something that you're hoping to to see later on and from a particular show, please share with us. Well, I'm, I'm excited to see some some darker lips. I mean, I'm ah, so accustomed okay. to seeing dark lips for fall. I did see a couple. I saw mm -hmm. Kristen Siriano did black, which okay. I'm not a fan of black. Uh -huh. I think it works for him, obviously, uh -huh. but uh -huh. not for the everyday woman. Leela Rose did a darker lip, too. Yes, that's mm -hmm. true. She did mm -hmm. like that sort of a rich red, which I thought was really beautiful. Mm -hmm. I want to see more of that. I want to see more rich reds. I want to see plums or maybe some browns, Okay, because that's what I, I kind of expect it for fall and so I've been a little bit underwhelmed just yeah. in terms of the you know there's just not been enough of the dark right I mean to and, call it a trend yet. and generally in fall we see more berries and plums and really rich yeah. colors I was surprised that DVF didn't do a really rich lip because she generally does a berry and it was like kind of soft and pink it which was. I thought was a nice change of pace but you do like to see those rich tones yes exactly so I'm looking forward to that for the rest of okay. fashion week why don't you tell us where we can find you on Twitter and Facebook and all of that good stuff and are you on Pinterest yet and not on okay. Pinterest yet I know I have to I'm, I'm a little bit behind the, the the curve on that one but I'm true Trey on Twitter okay. and on Facebook okay and I write about 15 articles a month for retail me not there um, yeah <laughs> I know I didn't when think I could sleep? do it I don't know <laughs> um, but they have an online magazine called the insider and okay. it's a lot of consumer driven lots of informative lifestyle beauty fashion travel wow. kids all Holy that kind moly. of good stuff so okay Okay. Lots of great content. You're there. a busy lady. Yes. I Thank am. you again for taking time for us. Thanks again. Thanks. Bye. We're continuing our All Fashion Week Everything coverage here at the This That Beauty Show. I'm super excited for our next guest. She's a celebrity makeup artist. You've seen her work on celebs like Brooke Shields and Victoria Beckham. And just recently, a couple of days ago, during New York Fashion Week, she did several shows. Please help me welcome my dear, dear friend, Sarah Lucero of Stila Cosmetics. Sarah, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to have you. Thank you. We've got all this fantastic Stila newness and product on the table. I totally want to talk about Fashion Week and the shows, but first, I want to talk about what's new. So please tell us about the Stila Live from the Red Carpet E collection. What's what's this all about? Well, you know, Stila is a Los Angeles-based makeup brand, mm -hmm. and we are known for star worthy skin mm -hmm. and you know i'm a working makeup artist so i love working with celebrities and a lot of my um, bookings go for red carpet mm -hmm. and beauty so i think it's a perfect collaboration mm -hmm. stila for e live from the red carpet came up with this beautiful collection that's available to everyone so we can all have that red carpet glamour look i can look like victoria beckham uh, is this what you you could look like any starlet that you want because you already do felicia number one and you know the second thing is Stila makes the product so easy to use mm -hmm. and even if you're not attending the red carpet okay. events you could still look like you okay. are so what I love is you know Stila for Eli from the red carpet created and con combined some great products the first one I want to talk about and show you is the first ever 
Solar Illuminated Refillable Compact. Mm. So Stila is a brand that is always kind to the environment and we love mm -hmm. to give back when we can, but this is so cool because it's a refillable compact. Okay. But it comes with a double uh -huh. compact. So one side is just a shine-free oil blotting translucent powder. Okay, I probably need that right now. Uh, me too. I always <laughs> need that in the hot spots. It mm -hmm. just keeps the shine away. Okay. And then on the other side to get that star worthy skin and mm -hmm. that glow from mm -hmm. within and that kind of youthful touch, mm -hmm. we've got a gorgeous universal flattering one shade fits all illuminating okay. powder. Now just kind of demonstrate where would I apply the illuminating shade because sometimes like we don't quite know where it goes and so help me with that a little bit. You know the best thing that I love to tell my clients mm -hmm. is shimmer, illumination, you know that's going to enhance and okay. really th make that area pop out or okay. stand out. Okay. So if you want to do like a little more of an emphasized cheekbone, okay. brow bone, okay. bow of the lip, gotcha. you know you can even put it on the bridge of the nose. Anywhere that you want to have like mm -hmm. enhanced and stand out, gotcha. that's where you put something with shine or shimmer. Okay. Everybody can wear shimmer. Okay. I don't care if you're you feel you're I'm too old for shimmer mm -hmm. or it's too glittery okay. there's there's a way to wear it and it's looks just, so smooth and sophisticated it's a matter of placement it needs to be kind yes. of strategically placed not kind of just rubbed on everywhere exactly gotcha. exactly gotcha. think of it as like you know you want to brighten and mm -hmm. lighten and okay. really kind of make that youthful pop okay easy to do with this product and here. the compact that it, it has a little light there and it's lit so you kind of can't make a mistake it's nice and bright so you can see where everything is going I know good placement. I mean how great like you could pop this in your little That's handbag adorable. you can even touch up in the limo or in your car Ooh, the lim I like the idea <laughs> that you think I'm in a limo I, I mean as I totally to like my think Jeep that. Wrangler <laughs> so let's talk yeah. about the rest what else should we know about the collection like what are these little like I love your clickables so yes please tell me all about this. Well, Stila, I mean, we're known for our lip glaze yes. and that click pen is so iconic. What we have here, we did a three trio set of just top universal flattering colors. Very They're good. sheer, they really enhance your natural lip and mm -hmm. having the choice of three shades, you can do a warm, mm -hmm. a cool, they work with a great beautiful smoky bold eye mm -hmm. or you could just do it with a really classic kind of contoured eye with that okay. beautiful cat eye. Like mm -hmm. you could be very classic old school Hollywood or you could be a little bit more modern um, and the choice of three, mm -hmm. you could have one at your fingertips everywhere in the car, I love at it. home, every handbag. So that's the lips. We I all, love Stila, it. I mean, we, what, who are we without our lip glaze? I agree. Now, Let's talk eyes. What's mm. going on with the eye collection? So with the eye collection, Sports. we've got two sets that I love. This okay. is the Walk of Fame eyeshadow palette. Okay. And we did that based on um, four different looks. Okay. And you have eight shadows. So mm -hmm. you can see the around the star, you've got a okay. lighter highlight. And the star could be used as your liner okay. or just a contour. But you have eight different looks right there. And then what I love, everyone needs this. It's a set of the two smudge sticks, which okay. is a waterproof liner. Mm -hmm. And we did two exclusive brand new colors. One in a gorgeous classic chocolate brown. Which every girl needs that. Every girl needs this. It's called Oscar Fish. Uh -huh. And then we've got a gorgeous black one. You know I'm a swatcher. I've got to yes. test it out here. Oh, that's gorgeous. Isn't that great? That's it's like really that perfect pretty. bronze. Mm -hmm. I love that. And then look at that one. This is, you know, they're all named after exotic fish because Ooh. they're waterproof. Oh, look at the little, I it's know. like very subtle shimmer there. Exactly. Not too glittery. A little bit of a like frosting, like a bling, like okay. you put on that gorgeous, you know, glamorous diamonds that you've borrowed for the evening. And it's waterproof, so it's going to stay on all day. It okay. won't run. It's perfect. It's awesome. So Sarah, let's transition from the red carpet to yes. the runway. Yes, the which we're here. The whole reason you're I here. I it's know. fashion week. And you, my lovely, you're backstage keying looks, designing the looks for shows. So tell us about some of the shows that you're working on and the looks and give us a little bit of insight into trend and inspiration for fall 2012. You know, Fashion Week in New York is such an exciting time. I'm just Love being it. a makeup artist because it's my playground of really kind of creating looks and collaborating with hair, mm -hmm. designers, clothing, looking at kind of fabrics and trends. So Stila is backstage. We um, of did- Of course you are. Yeah, I know, <laughs> and it's it's so exciting to be requested mm -hmm. and working with some designers. Leela Rose, mm -hmm. um, we worked with, and it was okay. a gorgeous, glamorous, classic look. Okay, so you have the face chart, please. I do. I'd love to learn a little bit more about this look. So for Leela Rose, you can see here that 
we kind of sketched a darker red lip mm -hmm. and a very soft contoured nude eye. Okay. Um, it was a little bit of like a hazy makeup, a little bit more of kind of a Victorian beauty. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to do just more of that kind of rusty red mm -hmm. mouth. And mm -hmm. I think that's something that a trend that we're seeing a lot more lipstick is back. Okay. Um, the eye, we did a lot of mattes and mm -hmm. a lot of shaping and sculpting. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's what was so flattering and mm -hmm. so sophisticated um, and very classic for Leela. So this is lovely and I had a, the opportunity to talk with Dom backstage and we had the whole crew you know running a little b-roll for this show and what I loved about the models is that the look that you chose like there was really no color on the lower lid it was just kind of all in the creases like their natural skin tone on the lower mm -hmm. and then like the then like a darker shade in the crease and going up into the brow and it was just a very soft and beautiful look. Mm -hmm. What was the inspiration behind that? I, you know, I believe the inspiration behind that was all about shaping and shading and mm -hmm. contouring and enhancing. And I think okay. that goes back to, you know, really working with different textures. Mm -hmm. um, matte textures of eyeshadows are great to enhance and correct. Uh -huh. uh, so typically, you know, if you have a, a little protruding brow bone uh -huh. or a larger space, push it back with a medium to darker matte shadow. Mm -hmm. Using it more as a corrective yeah. makeup versus just having makeup on for fun. Right. You know, working with textures. So that's, I believe, where like the matte kind of soft mm -hmm. haziness came in. So hazy, that's the perfect word to describe. Just like so beautiful yeah. and just like very light and lovely. So yeah. tell us about your, your second look from Fashion Week. So we were backstage yesterday at Alice and Olivia. Oh, such a fun, fun show. I know. You know, I love working with Alice and Olivia. Yeah, and Stacy, the designer, she's so cool mm -hmm. and she's got such a great vision and she's so creative. She wanted to do a makeup that was, um, you know, really complimenting their haunted house dinner party. Uh -huh. Almost like so a goth, cool. ethereal goth. Mm -hmm. So we worked with, um, you know, Stila Smudge Crown, which is one of my new favorite products. It's a okay. waterproof, almost like a creamy, glossy stick mm -hmm. and truly just shaped the eye, full solid blocky line on mm -hmm. top, pretty thick, and mm -hmm. then underneath inside lots of mascara. Mm -hmm. The brows were left natural, the skin was left very clean and okay. soft, almost shiny glossy. Okay, now talk to me a little bit more about this glossy line mm -hmm. because I see that like an editorial and it's beautiful, but is that wearable for every day? Like, can I wear a glossy eye like to work without getting creasy and all of that? You absolutely can and I, I think it's all about the product that mm -hmm. you choose. If it's a product that stays creamy, you're gonna have some issues. You're gonna be okay. touching up every five minutes. Okay. That's more of like on a photo shoot, you know, you can use an eight hour cream. Gotcha. That's fine. But for everyday real life, mm -hmm. get something like a Stila smudge stick that okay. almost is like an eye grease pencil. Okay. And it almost dries in that sheen. Uh -huh. So it looks like a stripe of patent leather. Right. So it's the way the dry down is okay. and the performance of the product. So it gives that glossy look, but it's gonna stay. But and it's it won't gonna move. stay. Kind of like what I've got going on here. Exactly. If you're not sure like what to choose, mm -hmm. maybe use something like from the Stila for Eli from the red carpet, mm -hmm. you know, that black liner with that okay. sheen, because that little bit of sparkle will reflect and that will almost look shiny. Okay. So anyone can recreate it and if you keep it close to the lash line, you can't make a mistake. So okay. at least you have a piece of that trend. And then a really beautiful dark bar, like Bordeaux lip. Mm -hmm. So imagine being at a great dinner party, very kind of dark room, almost kind of like haunted mansion, uh -huh. and that like beautiful Bordeaux wine passed around Merlot, it. that's the lip. But the skin stayed very fresh and clean, otherwise it would have looked too made up. Okay, it would have just been too much yeah. going on if there were lots of, you know, rouge on the yeah, cheeks. It yeah, it would have been like too dated. So gotcha. I love, it was just clean, fresh, but still very kind of like gothic and mysterious. Okay. It looked gorgeous, those girls, it yeah, I amazing. saw the runway. It was fantastic. Sarah, you are incredible, fantastic, fabulous, and everything else. I'm so happy to have had you on the show. You always share such great tips and just really break it down for us plain girls and you can understand it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, where can we find you? How do we keep up with you? You can find me always on Twitter. Okay. And it's uh, my my name is at Stila Pro Artist. Okay. Please do. I love love following you on Twitter. I will stalk you yes. on Twitter. Don't worry. Okay, perfect. So I welcome all stalkers. <laughs> okay. And then also on StilaCosmetics.com, you okay. can find Ask Sarah. Okay. And email me any questions, specific questions, and I'll get back to you with um, some of my tips and tricks um, personally. And then also Stila Facebook page, mm -hmm. go to Stila Cosmetics, and I often provide like trend reports 
daily Fashion Week updates mm -hmm. um, and lots of tips and tricks. And basically wherever Victoria Beckham is, that's where you are, right? <laughs> Usually, yeah, doing some makeup. Always Intel with the makeup. Yeah, glamming, glamming up some celebrities. That's, you know, I'm, I'm a jack of all trades. But thank you so much for having thank me. Thank you. It was We're a pleasure. honored. We really thank are you. honored that you had the time to come and spend with us. So thank you for joining us. Yeah. And thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for our All Fashion Week Everything episode of This That Beauty. Until next time. Bye. Felicia's picks. Now, as I was kind of coming up with my picks, what I talk about on today's show, I really wanted to make it very personal and kind of walk you through a few of my favorites in terms of my routine, how I prep my skin and get ready for the This That Beauty show with Felicia Walker Benson. So let's start at night. So I know I'm going to be in front of the camera talking to all of you with great guests. So I really like to do a little evening prep to make sure my skin is as best as it can be. So for people that read my blog, you know that I have oily skin, I've got acne prone skin. So a couple of times a week, I like to do the proactive refining mask. I use it all over. Now sometimes because it's winter and my skin is a little bit more on the dry side, I might just do it on my cheeks. I might not do it all over because my cheeks are where I really kind of get the breakout sometimes. So if I know I'm gonna be on camera, I always do my proactive refining mask the night before. The active ingredient in this product is sulfur. Sulfur is really good for calming inflammation and helping to refine skin. I always feel like I wake up brighter. Um, another part of my evening prep routine, again, getting ready for camera, is uh, using a really um, concentrated night cream. So for me, I really love to use Le Metier de Beauté anti-aging night cream. What's amazing about this cream is that it contains retinol. If you're new to retinol-based products, what I recommend is trying a cream like Le Metier de Beauté anti-aging night cream every other night. Don't jump right in and use it every single night, maybe every other night or every two nights just to kind of get your skin accustomed to it. And now the next product I want to introduce you to is, is actually a two-parter. I'm really in love with NARS, their, their multiple stick and their blush, two shades in particular. And I want to show you the products that I'm using and how I use them. And I'm actually wearing them today. So if you like this look, you can get it with these products. I generally start with NARS, um, the multiple. Now this particular shade is called South Beach. I'll show you the actual product. It's a stick and it can really be used anywhere on the face. You can use it on your eyes, on your cheeks, above the bow of your lip. So I like to apply it to the high planes of my face here and here and that kind of brightens and illuminates my face. Now because I also want to have a little bit of pop or point of interest, I then follow up with a blush and right now, well what I'm wearing today and a blush that I actually just bought this the other night and I love it. I've been wearing it every day ever since. It's NARS Torrid and what I like to do is get a little bit on the Kabuki brush here, tap off the excess and just apply right to my cheeks. It's very kind of peachy. It's got a little bit of iridescent shimmer, but it's very soft and very subtle. And these two products, the, uh, the multiple stick and the blush work really well together. And I just feel like it gives me a nice, pretty natural finish. So the other item that I use, if you notice, I'm wearing like a major wing cat eye today. I think I was kind of inspired by watching Adele at the Grammys. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna do a major wing cat eye for this That Beauty show. So I'm using the Stila um, All Day Stay Liquid Liner. And what's great about this is that it has a felt tip. And this is different from other liquid liners that you might see that have like a flimsy brush. This is a very stiff kind of felt tip brush. So you can just run it along your lash line and get a really beautiful crisp wing liner like you see here. So this, I put this on very early this morning and it's much later in the afternoon and it's still hanging on and it'll be here long into the evening. It stays really well. 
Uh, the next thing that I want to share with you is a brow grooming product. We know brows are so important. They help to frame the face. So, but sometimes you don't know if you want to use a pencil or a powder. Sometimes I just go clear and I don't use color at all. And so that's where a perfect brow perfection gel comes in. It looks like a mascara, but it's actually for your brows. It has clear product on it and you just use, use this to groom your brows. What's great about this is that it kind of grooms your brows in place, but it also sets it. So kind of think of it as like a hairspray for your eyebrows. So it sets the look and keeps your brows in place. So if your brows get a little long sometimes or they just kind of, they get a little messy, this is perfect for that. Uh, the next item that I want to share with you is a misting product that I like to use. Now, I love mists and hydrators because my skin gets really dry and in the winter it just gets a little bit, I feel like it needs a little boost. So this is, a, it's called Mineral Magic. It's by a skincare brand called Arcona. And what I love about this, if you haven't kind of picked up on my anti-acne regimen, we talked about the sulfur mask and a couple of other things that I do to kind of keep acne at bay. I love this product because it has antibacterial properties. And the way that you use it, it's really just the mist. So you take the cap off, you can shake it up a little bit, take it about eight to 10 inches away from your face and just spray. And you can mist to set your makeup, to refresh your makeup. If you're feeling a little bit dry, you can use it to mist. And again, it has anti-acne anti-inflammatory properties in it, which I personally love because my skin gets a little bit aggravated. So I love to keep one in my car, at my desk, just to use whenever I feel like I need to be refreshed a little bit or to set my makeup or, you know, things like that to add a little moisture. The last product that I'm going to talk to, and you might be a little bit surprised by this, um, it's a fragrance. And this fragrance is very unique because it's actually a men's fragrance. But I love it. Um, it's Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb. Now, it, again, it's a men's fragrance. You can look at it. It's a very masculine bottle. It looks like a grenade. What I love about this is that it's got that lovely spice uh, kind of oriental smell to it, but it's also got a little grapefruit and a little bergamot balance with a really beautiful citrus. So yeah, Spice Bomb. I think it's, you know, it's a little bit different if you want to try something different from your usual feminine scents. So those are my picks for this particular episode of the This That Beauty Show. And again, I wanted to take you behind the scenes a little bit and show you some of the makeup products and skincare that I do to kind of prep for this show. And I'll try and incorporate this in every show, in every episode of the This That Beauty Show. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy my picks.